What I'm going to show you on this piece of uh, scrap styrofoam is what you can do to repair anything that you accidentally break. So as you can tell, the thicker the styrofoam gets, it's going to be more rigid. But if you were to do some thin parts like some of the jawline and it gets a little thin and then all of a sudden, you know, oh crap, it breaks. How do you fix that? Now, there have been a lot of different methods a lot of different suggestions on how to, to fix this, but the process is pretty much the same. You want to put a pin or a dowel inside here to give it strength and glue it together uh, with several different things. You could use spray glues. We went over that before, but what I'm going to use today is the um, spray expanding foam. This I like to glue together uh, parts with because I can then set it aside, and once it cures, you can actually carve into it. So what I have uh, to use today is a product called Great Stuff. And this is a spray uh, expanding foam. And it's basically used for window sealants and, and home repair. Um, but this is great for using on styrofoam. That's what I'm gonna use today. So what I have, <clears throat> I've got a bag full of wooden dowels. You can get these at any craft store. So it depends on what piece you're using, but I like to go just a couple inches into each side to give it some strength. So I'm just taking a pair of dikes, make a sharp edge on both. Now you can, you know, you, if you really wanna carve this down, you can do that. It's not really necessary. Just giving you some options. Make sure the straw is on. So what I wanna do is jam this into one side and try to match this up as perfectly as you can. There we go. So now that matches up and it's got some strength again. So you take this, get a little, this comes out really fast, so try not to depress the uh, trigger too, too much or it'll shoot out. Now this does expand, so you don't need to use a lot. Okay, there's my material. Give it a nice squeeze. <clears throat> and I'm gonna set that aside for a while and let that kick off. And I can trim away all of the excess. And, and I'll show you that it's also, again, the reason you want to basically avoid breaking anything is because this will carve differently than your white styrofoam and you might get an edge. So it takes a little bit of babysitting, but that's definitely a great way to fix something that you break. So over time, about an hour, this stuff will cure and give you enough time to uh, carve into it. You can fill like big holes with this too, but just keep in mind the bigger of a mass that you grow, it might feel okay on the surface, but the inside will stay sticky. So it, it depends on how thick that is, that will gauge the curing time. So for this piece, since I've uh, sprayed a little bit, squished it together, it's nice and glued. It's got that pin in there, it's a lot stronger. So I'll show you the difficulties of what happens with this stuff. So I just wanna carve off the seam. And carving it's the best way to get that thing flush, especially if you have, if you're, it's actually better if your sculpture is closer to finished if you accidentally break it. It's easier to fix. If you have a giant chunk you're trying to glue together and then sculpt from, that's a little bit more difficult because this stuff uh, will act differently than your, uh, than your white styrofoam will. <clears throat> so razoring it works really well. That's a nice clean cut, but let's say this is as far as you got to and you want to rasp it like I've showed you. This stuff won't rasp very well. See, it, this is what it constantly does. It will create a seam that you then have to carve out again. You constantly have to chase that stuff. And even if you sand it, it sands okay, but it's definitely not the same as the white foam. You'll always get a little bit of a ridge there. So if it's like, say something on the jawline, and then you break this and you try to glue it together with that stuff, you're gonna have a hard time really concealing that line. So it's important, obviously, not to try to, uh, to break it, but if you do, it's the best you can do with this material. Again, best way, razor it flat if you can. Now, if you cover this with resin, you can definitely conceal that. If you stipple latex on this, 
as your final coat, you can definitely conceal that. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's ways to hide that, but I'm just saying that's your main issue is the carvability is different uh, between, even if you use uh, two-part rigid foam, um, even if you use um, uh, a spray glue, a spray glue can also do that uh, to a small degree. Uh, so just keep in mind that your seam is going to look a little different, but you really have to kind of pay attention to it. So that's catching up on how, uh, how to fix a broken spot.